everyone. We are in my kitchen this morning. Well, let me look. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. It's been a busy day today. I went to the doctor today, got my blood drawn, got my medication refilled. And so I'm, you know, ready to go with that. And then I had a family member come by my house and take a look at the water heater, measured it, um, went to the store to order it, and it's going to be delivered tomorrow. So what do you do when you have no hot water? Life still goes on. Okay. And so I'm going to turn you around and we're going to, I'm going to show you what to do when these things happen, because I live in Hurricane Alley. I don't know if you know that, but Houston area is Hurricane Alley and we get hammered with hurricanes all the time. So these things can happen at any time, any moment. Okay. And so here is what you do when these things happen. All right, I know that you're going to see right here, you're going to see a sink full of water, and that's okay, all right? That only means that I've been doing dishes or I'm preparing to do dishes. Then right here, you see what I prepared for my lunch today. And what it was was, is I had done a favor for myself earlier, way back, and I had made some pork meatballs. And so I pulled those out of the freezer Remember the pasta sauce that we get from the food bank? I went and opened a can of that. I put it inside a pan. I heated it up. I added the meatballs in there. And I also uh, put in a little bit of cream cheese that I had left over in a package because I like just cream cheese and crackers. And so I made it a pink sauce with the cream cheese. I ate one and I have two, one, two for later. So this is what I made today, despite the fact I have no hot water. Now I'm left with, I'm gonna turn it around. I'm left with two pots. What do you do when you have no hot water and you've got to clean these pots up? Here is what you do. I'm gonna pull you in and we're gonna actually, I gotta get the camera angle right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna put these um, bowls off to the side. I'm letting them cool so I can put some plastic wrap on them. The reason I use these bowls to make, to, um, to hold my spaghetti in is because these are bowls I've had for, let's see, I'm 60, and I got them probably when I was 25 or 30 years old. So I've had them for about 30 years. And the lids on them have, like, you know, they have stained and they've gotten old. They were plastic lids. And so, but the bowls themselves are, are perfect. And so I cap them, but I use these bowls when I make spaghetti because I don't want my new bowls that I have with, the new, I'm sorry, with the new lids, I don't want them stained. But here's what I do, anyway. You saw that I had some water already in the sink here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill this pan up with a little water. Just like this. And we're going old school, people. We're going old school. I'm going to put the heat on. And we're gonna get this hot. And then while we're getting this hot, it's gonna go into my sink. And we're going to make this hot water, is what we're going to do. And then I'm gonna wash the pans with the hot water and get them clean. And then I'm gonna flush the sink out. I'm gonna, after I wash the pan and I rinse it off, I'm gonna add some more hot water, uh, some more water to it. I'm going to get it hot and I'm going to flush my sink out with hot, hot boiling water. And that's how I'm going to clean out the sink. And once it's done, then I can dry the pans. But that's how I deal with <laughs> issues like this when they happen and occur. We just have to think outside the box is what we have to do. You guys have a blessed day. 
because I know I'm blessed. Hey everyone, I wanted to touch base with you one more time in this video and end the video with let's review the lessons of today, okay? Yes, I had a rough day yesterday, okay? Um, then I just made sure that the water heater was not going to leak anymore in my house and that the electricity on it was shut off so that nothing would happen to it, all right? That's the best that I we could do, all right? The gentleman that came down from my neighborhood to help me out was a true blessing because I couldn't have done it without him. Then my family came in today. They took a look at it. They confirmed, yes, the water heater has has busted on the inside. It is not a leak on any of the pipes. It is inside. On top of it, it is raining like crazy all day today with this going on. And so, my family member came in, measured a tank, took all the details down off of the tank, and went down to, you know, a home, home Depot and took a look around, found a one that is close enough that is going to, going to work and it will be delivered tomorrow. And so that way no one has to get a truck and all that stuff. It will be delivered to my house tomorrow. So that, what that means is no food banging tomorrow. I have to be here for this delivery because I have to sign off on it, that it was actually delivered. And so I'm hoping, keep my fingers crossed, that the delivery person will actually bring it up the stairs for me and place it inside the house because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow as well. If he can place it inside the house and get it in the door for me, the rest of it we can do together because that's what family does. They come together in time when people need help. And so each person has their own unique set of skills. I call the person in my family who has this unique set of skills and can help. So guys, I am blessed. I want you to know that. You guys be blessed because I know I am. Now, no food banks tomorrow, but if we get this fixed and ready and going tomorrow, then I'm hoping I will be on a food bank on Thursday. So you guys, take it easy, and I will see you tomorrow.